Right, we've got his arbor, as you saw in the other video. We now need to build the blades. I'm sure you're familiar the way that I do stuff now. 250mm long, 70mm wide at the top of the blade, and 35mm of the blade, and that's right angle to the bottom. I'm sure I'll find somewhere to you can download these from if you want to look at them in more detail. We need to do eight of these, so I'll get on with it. Well, right, I've got a little bit of plywood. Now I'm going to cut out this template. Right, that's it cut out. One way to save loads of time is we will glue that to that as before using just exterior grade PVA glue to glue that on. Then we'll just cut strips, and we'll just cut 8 strips out this board at 70mm wide. And I'll show you why in a few minutes. Right, that's our template now glued on, and we're now going to cut them with the aid of a few lines. So I'm just going to cut that panel that wide. Yeah, I'm going to have a load of waste, but at this stage this is just a demo. So I'm now going to cut out that, and I'm going to cut out, I think, 70mm. Now, there's my eight blades. Well, eight pieces of strips of timber at the right width. Actually, we weren't quite enough on that board, so I had to nick a piece off something else, and the reason why one's a bit longer. So, first thing to do is to line them all up perfectly, like I so. And what you do then is you put a nail in there, or a tack, or a screw. I would say just a tack in there, one in there, and you cut them all out together. So they all come out the same size, and you can sand them. If your nails or your tacks that you're using, which is what I've used, are too long, file them off at this point. Save you a lot of problems. Okay, so, nice and smooth now. We'll just cut all them together. We'll cut that bit first clamp it down somewhere or in a vice and then we'll cut that off. And that's basically the blades done, then we'll go round them with a block. This is what I tend to use. Nice straight block. You can see that's a belt off a sander. And you shove that dowel in to lock it. Makes a perfect sanding block. There you can see all the blades done down to the template. I am going to take that template off before the glue dries, although it looks like it has. <laughs> but uh, I think you can agree, that's a quick way of making the blades. Now, I'll take these apart, attach them to the arbor. I also forgot, now would be a good time to sand that off, because you'll have a hell of a job doing that. Any sanding you want to do that, do now before assembling. Right, well, there's all the parts. The blades. Now make sure you get all your blades in the same direction. Now just to let you know, the flat side, in other words, the right angle, goes to the deck. Like so. So all your right angles go like that. So I'll just show you that again. That's the front of your turbine, that's the back. So the right angle is top and bottom and goes to the back. Hope you get that. First things first, glue. I'm going to do this quick, I'm not messing about. I'm running out of time, I need to get some of the jobs done. So, plenty of glue in it. Like so, make sure it's sat well down inside. It will push all the glue out, I do recommend you having a bit of rag. Like so. And when you do these, make sure that everything's sticking out exactly the same. It's flat to the bed, like so. I'll go on and put the rest in just the same way you've just seen me do that one. Right, that's a all in. The next thing to have a good do at is put your hand in the middle and one of the blades. Just to, to seat them all. Thank you. 
and there should be no spring in this. If there is, just keep going around until you stop it. There we go. Right, next thing we do, you get a little tack and you put the tack there, and that will actually go through two blades. So you put them in the same place, but as it goes through, it pins the bottom one as well. You just can't find the little pin hammer, and there it is on the dog shelf. Make sure you're happy with the rear level pins in the middle. I get so far down, I'll change the punch, I don't hit the blade. And now I get on and do the rest, and that's your blade finished. And just to prove that I've not just swapped it for the other one. There's the other one. The only thing is with that one, I have to put it in reverse rotation. In other words, I put the blades in the other one. You can put them how you want. But I put them like that. I have actually done what you can just see there with one turbine. In other words, two lots of blades like that don't work. Rubbish. I passed five tonight, I started that, and it's now quarter past seven. So I've done, and that's including all the video recording. 